All right, Riley. Miss Natural needs to help collecting sounds at the sound jars. Sounds fun. What do we do first? Walking. Wait. I need to get the jar. Okay. Perfect. What's next? Hallelujah. To the barn! Okay, ready. When I open the Bible, you catch the sound. Got it. Okay, it's in there. Perfect. Next, we need cheering. Woohoo! Wait! I need to grab a jar. Okay, I think there's only one more. Crowd. Where are we gonna find a crowd? Outside! Let's go! Wait! We need a jar. Okay, when I open this door, you open the jar. Ready. <laughs> Close it tightly. Oh, I did. Let's get the jars to Miss Ashley. Hi friends, I'm so excited for today's story. I'm gonna use sound jars to help tell the story. I asked Katie and Riley to collect the sounds for me. Do you think they've made them yet? They have? Awesome, I can't wait to hear them. Why don't you come sit crisscross applesauce with me so we can get started? Great job, put one finger up with me and we're gonna practice the ready rhyme. Ready? Voices disappear as we wiggle our ears. Let's be wise and open our eyes. Shake out the wiggles, shh, no giggles. Into church we go, so, so God, God can, can help, help us grow, 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 grow. 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 Great job, friends. That's what we're gonna do today. Grow, 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 grow as, as we, we learn, learn more about, about Jesus. <laughs> Hi, Pip, how are you today? I'm good, just hanging out like a hair in a biscuit. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm so excited for today's story. Oh, you're about to tell a Bible story? I sure am. Can I stay for it? I think it will really help me with my problem. Of course you can stay, but what's going on? You have a problem? Well, sorta. You know Billy's new friend, Cora? Yeah. I met her the other day, and she's really nice, but... Uh-huh. But she says she's just not sure she believes this whole Jesus thing yet. Oh, Pip, today's story is perfect. Can we talk more about Cora after we tell it? Yes, please. Awesome. Then why don't we do our key passage first? Riley's going to help us practice our key passage today. Hi friends, it's Jeannie Postmaster and Training Riley here, and I'm so excited because I'm doing the key passage with you again. Now, remember, the key passage is more valuable than gold, candy, or money. Let's see what it says. Let me get it out. Are you guys ready to read the verse with me? For this is how God loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Great job, friends. Now let's do it in our hand motions. For this is how God loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Great job, friends. Now let's try that one more time. For this is how God loved the world, that he gave his one and only son, that everyone who believed in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Great job, friends. I had so much fun. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Thanks, Riley. Yay, it's mail time. That's right, Pip Pip. Hooray! Let's see what Mailbox has for us today. The hills are alive with the sound of sound jars. <laughs> Very clever, Mailbox. Does that mean my sound jars came? Sure do. Yay! But before you get the jars, could I have a moment of your time? Um, sure. Perfect. Could you fill out this quick survey for me? Uh... Survey? Yep. Uh, okay, let's see. 
how would you rate your overall mail handling services? Okay, I'll give you a five on that one. Yes. How often does your mailbox make you laugh? Daily, weekly, occasionally, every once in a while. Hmm, interesting. There's nowhere to circle never. What? I'm just kidding, mailbox. Daily. Whew. Okay, what would you say are your mailbox's top three skills? Hmm. Some suggestions may include singing, comedy, wit, art. I know. Napping. Mail handling. And overall entertainment. I'll take it. All right, let's see. Any final questions or comments? So I just write my questions right here? Yep, and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, mailbox, here you go. Uh, hmm, can I have my mail, please? That's your final question. Sure is, and you said you'd get back to me as quickly as possible. Clever, Miss Ashley. Thanks, Mailbox. You're not the only clever one around here now, are you? I guess not. Your package is right below me. Oh, yay! Thanks, Mailbox. No problem. Now I must go get my number one skill. Napping? Exactly. Bye, Miss Ashley. Bye, Mailbox. What's in the package? I can't wait to show you. Are you ready to hear a Bible story? Yep. Great, then let me grab my Bible and we'll see what God has to say. <sighs> let me see if I can find our story for today. Here it is. Our story today is called Jesus Taught in Nazareth. But let's pray and talk to God to get ourselves ready to read the Bible. Will you all clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God, thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the Bible. Help us to be quiet and still. Help us to be quiet and still. So we can hear from you today. So we can hear from you today. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Now we're ready to read the Bible. Jesus teaches this story? I got to hear this. He sure does. And you're going to hear all about it because I'm going to use sound jars to help tell the story. Sound jars? Yep. And I haven't even heard these sounds yet. I got Cowgirl Katie and Riley to help me make them. Then what are we waiting for? How does the story start? Well, it starts with Jesus traveling back to his hometown. Here, let's open up our first jar. Wow, it sounds like he's walking a long way. He was. Jesus traveled all the time. And do you remember what he did as he traveled? He would help people and tell them about Jesus, God's love? Yeah, you're right, Pip. Did he do it the, all the way back to, um, where did you say he was going? He was going back to Nazareth. That's where he lived when he was a kid. Gotcha. Did he help people and tell them about God's love all the way back to Nazareth? I'm sure he did. And when he got to Nazareth, everyone was excited to see him because they all knew him, right? Well, they were really excited to see him at first, but let's keep going with our story. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to the synagogue. What's a synagogue? Well, back in Bible times, a synagogue was like the church for God's people, the Jews. Okay, so did they do all the same things we do here at church? Yep. At the synagogue, the Jews would pray together and worship God and learn from the Bible. The people would listen to God's word at the synagogue. Just like I listen to God's word at church. Exactly. One day, Jesus stood up to read God's word. He opened up a scroll. Here, let's use another sound jar. That's just like our Bible. Sure is. Jesus read out of the book of Isaiah, and that's in our Bible too. What did Jesus read? 
Here, let me read it to you. Just like opening the scroll, Jesus read, God's Spirit is with me. God has chosen me to tell the good news to the poor. God has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to help the blind see, to free those who have been treated badly, and to announce that God's favor is on us. Wow, that book of Isaiah talked about Jesus? It sure did. And when Jesus was done reading, he sat back down. What did the people think? Well, the people just stared at Jesus, waiting to see if he was going to say anything else. Did he say anything? Jesus said, these words came true today. Weren't they always true? Well, Pip, you're right. Everything in the Bible is true. But Jesus meant that he had fulfilled what it said in the book of Isaiah that day. Jesus came to announce God's favor on us. God's favor? Yeah. God's favor is just a fancy way of saying God's grace. God sent Jesus to save us from our sins, even though we didn't deserve it. And that's called grace. So the people must have been so happy. Many of the people were happy. Jesus had said many wonderful things. Some of the people were even... Here, I'll show you with the next jar. They were cheering? Some of them were, but they weren't all cheering. They weren't? No. In fact, an angry crowd was starting to form. See? <laughs> Why were so many people so upset? Well, the people of Nazareth didn't want to believe what Jesus was saying because they had known Jesus when he was a kid and watched him grow up. But Jesus is more than just a man. He is. He is God's son. Jesus came to save all of us. And only Jesus could do that. You're right, Pip. But the people of Nazareth weren't ready to believe it yet. So Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. And that made the people even angrier. Uh-oh. The people wanted to hurt Jesus. So Jesus walked away and Jesus left Nazareth. But what happened to the people? Did they all believe Jesus before he left? Not right away, but they had all heard Jesus' message. I'm sure that some of them kept thinking about it, and maybe some of them believed Jesus' message later. Do you think that can happen? I sure do. The Bible says that not everyone believes God's word right away, but it's still so important to keep telling people Jesus' message. Even if they don't believe it when they hear it? Yes, even if they don't believe it right away. It's the most important message for people to hear. God will continue to work on people's hearts. It's kind of like planting a seed. What do you mean? Here, let me show you. Let me just grab this and my seeds. You see, Pip, these seeds are going to grow into flowers. But right now, they're just seeds. And if I planted them in this dirt, we wouldn't see anything right away. But if I water it and take care of it, eventually it'll grow into a beautiful flower. Yeah? Well, that's just like Cora. She's just starting to learn about Jesus. She heard Jesus' message because you and Billy told it to her. But she's not sure she believes yet. Yeah! And if we water that seed, by showing her God's love, by being kind, and telling her about Jesus more and more, a little bit at a time, she might start to understand and even believe. You really think that can happen? I really do, Pip. I'm going to keep inviting Cora to church and telling her about Jesus. I'm so proud of you. Friends, not everyone believes about Jesus right away, but it's still so important for us to keep telling people about Jesus. And it's important for us to remember Jesus' message too. That's why we practice God's plan for me all the time, because it tells the whole story. It's the most important thing we can remember. Will you stand up with me so we can practice God's plan for me? Great job. Put your crowns up and we're gonna practice on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God rules, we sinned, God provided, Jesus gives, we respond. Great job. Now we're going to race. Are you ready, Pip? Yep. 
All right, let's put our crowns back up and go as fast as we can on the count of three. One, two, three. God rules and God Jesus respond. Great job, friends. Remember, the people in Nazareth didn't believe Jesus' message right away, but that didn't stop him from telling them all about God's love. Not everyone will believe in Jesus right away, but that shouldn't stop us from telling people all about God's love either. Let's pray and ask God to help us tell that truth all the time. Will you clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and I'm going to pray for us. Dear God, thank you for all the stories in the Bible that point to Jesus. He is our perfect example. Help us to keep telling others about your love, no matter what. Just like Jesus, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, friends, we had such a great time with you today, and we can't wait until next time when we all come back so God can help us grow, grow, grow! grow. grow.